hello and welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing another review we got a headset for you lot today it's the Corsair HS35 stereo gaming headset this one in particular is for Nintendo Switch we'll get uh, more in detail about that later on in the video before we start I just want to say thanks for the comments thanks for your support we're nearly at 200 subscribers only 8 away so if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit that subscribe button no more time wasting, let's get into the review straight after the intro. Let's quickly get the box open so we can see what we find inside. Now as usual I am going to comment on the box, I think it is pretty obnoxious how much red there is on it. I know it's for Nintendo Switch but you could easily just say on the box here yeah, for Nintendo Switch or for Xbox One depending on what you're getting it for, you don't have to have it all red. You might disagree with me, but obviously it's a review, and you want everyone's everyone's opinion is different. So yeah, don't don't hate me, but yeah, let's get it out the actual box itself. Now it comes in this plastic tray. Inside you're gonna find the headset itself. You're also going to find a couple of booklets, which I'll show you in a second. We'll start off with the warranty guide. Now you, I think you do get a two-year warranty. If you buy this headset brand new, dashed out of the way. Uh, you have a electrical waste regulations book i learned about that in college i don't need it now um you also have a microphone now this is a noise cancelling microphone we'll talk about it later on in the video let's see if i can get the camera to actually focus on it yeah it's pretty it's all right quality yeah, it's bendy we'll talk about it in more detail later on in the video you also obviously get the headset itself now this microphone is actually 3.5 mil it does have a 3.5 mil jack but is a proprietary connector so it won't fit in any other headsets We'll talk about it in more detail later. This is the cable, and obviously you have the main headset itself. Now the cable is actually decent quality. It's made of rubber, and it is about what about 1.5 meters long. As you can see, you have the Corsair logo on each side of the headphones. You have red ear cups and the headband. The headset is entirely made of plastic, and it has a metal support bracket underneath where you'd adjust it for your head size the ear cups are really plushy and soft and so is the headband made of this uh, breathable material now bear in mind that these well the actual you know it's soft when you actually feel it and you press it down with your fingers but as you put it on your head it kind of feels like you're wearing something it doesn't just sink into your into your ears into your head and um, it's not the most comfortable Obviously, the headset's only going to cost you forty pounds in the UK, about forty-five dollars in the US. So it's nothing to be expected. As you can see, there the metal, um, the metal band in the middle. Now the you have the volume adjuster on the left-hand side. You also have the mic mute button, which if you push in, it's muted, and it will sit further in when it's sitting further out. That means it's unmuted. Bit of a silly system, as it's kind of hard to tell when you got the headset on. I would much have pre much preferred if the controls were on the actual cable themselves. As you can see, the clicks are very pronounced and tactile, so you won't accidentally change them by accident. Let's um, quickly take a look at the actual cable itself now. It does have a uh, end stop. That's to stop the cable from uh, obviously creasing. You got a 3.5 millimeter gold-plated headphone jack on the one side increased protection here and it's nice to see at such a cheap price point you also have well obviously the cable is made primarily of rubber the rubber is very very good quality and it has a nice red finish um, now you see obviously this is a red one this is meant for the Nintendo Switch you have the green for the Xbox one and so forth blue for the PS4 and bear in mind that this switch one does not actually come with a splitter the splitter only comes with the black one which is meant for PC and mobile let's quickly take a look at the mic so obviously this is a unidirectional microphone not an omni and it is uh, self noise isolating which means it is going to isolate your noise from your surroundings to a little bit of amount we are going to do a sound test from this microphone later on in the video let's quickly just plug in and i'll show you the actual notch now as i said earlier this is a proprietary connector even though it does use 3.5 millimeter uh, interface it is actually got a little notch that can only fit in this headset this mic isn't going to fit in any of your other headsets it is very flexible and you can uh, shape it towards wherever you want wherever you want it closer to your mouth further away from your mouth maybe a little bit lower 
so as you can see in detail here you got the Corsair logo now this has no RGB obviously it's pretty cheap you're not gonna really get RGB let's quickly do a mic test now in three two one so now I'm doing a mic test on the Corsair HS35 stereo. Personally, I don't know if you can hear me properly, I'll check once I've edited it. Um, honestly, the sound quality of this headset while playing games is alright. The footsteps aren't that pronounced and the bass isn't too great, but other than that I think it's perfectly fine if you're gaming on a Nintendo Switch, if you're gaming even like gaming on a PC. If you're, doing, if you're playing games like FIFA or like a racing game, I don't think it'd be a problem. But for shooting games, maybe Fortnite where the footsteps are a lot highly pronounced and amplified, I wouldn't recommend this headset as it's not too great for that in my opinion. Uh, the build quality is very good. Um, obviously as you can tell by the mic quality, judge by yourself. Uh, this is raw and unedited, so yeah, should it should be fine for most people as long as you can hear what I'm saying. It should be alright, and there's not much uh, like what they'd call ear rape. As long as there's not much of that, it should be alright. Overall, I'd say if you are in the market for a new headset, then I personally wouldn't recommend this. As I said earlier, you can get some good uh, alternatives for the same price. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave some comments down below. I always, uh, I always accept constructive criticism. If you want to change anything, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.